What is up fishing addicts on today's video we'll be unboxing some European baits. Uh, I was just in Germany and my uh, biggest nephew and my brother-in-law they took me to a, a German tackle shop and uh, it wasn't that big. Uh, fishing is not that uh, popular around that area probably because of the uh, crazy restrictions. Uh, but um, I found some baits that are pretty cool and unique. So, got a bag full of goodies. Let's start with the biggest one. This one was uh, 22 euros and got, they got dropped down to 415. So, the bait name is Jack, I believe. Extreme Performance Series, mm, whatever. No, Gen Z. My bad. Gen Z. Not sure where it's made, but uh, like I said, I didn't do any research on this one. Uh, just saw it was big, heavy, and went and got it. It has the ass swimming action, so I wanted to try it for. Uh, uh, fall pike. You can open it. Oh, it comes with some stuff. Oh, it comes with uh, extra these appendages. I guess they are, I can see they're glued. And it's, uh, the glue is yellowing. So that's a uh, indication. Uh, that's an indication of some kind of epoxy glue. Yeah. I guess. A nice action. It's heavy. And the hooks are garbage. Pretty nice looking trout bait. This is soft, and I think I'm gonna have to glue this as well. These are kind of semi soft, but uh, this is bolted on. But I think I'm gonna glue it just so it uh, won't fall when a fish bites. Like I said, uh, crappy hooks. Which was expected. This bait is painted. I mean, the plastics over here are painted, so they're a little bit rougher. Okay. Pretty cool. Musky bait. Uh, most most likely, I know I'm not gonna use it for uh, for bass. I don't think there is a. Well, uh, there is probably a bass that will attack this, but uh, uh, maybe I have to spend a whole year before tossing this every day to get a bass in uh, Illinois to grab this one but um, otherwise it looks a pretty good bait it does have uh, loud knockers but like I said I bought this for pike and musky and it's worth the money I assume just gotta sharpen up those uh, hooks and let's see Savage Gear, my favorite. Uh, I do have the bigger one, and this one is uh, 12 euros. This is a small, I believe, uh, 5 inch, 13 centimeters, I believe. So, yeah, I, like I said, I have the big one of oh, this one. I bought it from Cabela's, I believe, and I forgot the price tag on it. but It's a glide bait, I have used it and it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can find it. Yes. So, I guess this is the normal version, the seven inch, and this is the five inch. So it's pretty cool, that's, that's the reason I got it. Ow, some sharp hooks. Two thumbs up for the hooks on Savage Gear. 
And let's see what else. And 3 3D trout. I don't know why this is packaged like that. 3D scan. Well, this one is a perch actually. It's a five inch. Mm, looks a little bit bigger than five inches, but uh, this one was uh, ten euros, which it's a little bit expensive. I think they're cheaper over here, but I couldn't find it in tackle warehouse, so I went and uh, and got this one. It's from the three D series, and. I became a huge fan of these guys. This one is pretty cool. Real sharp hooks. And paddle tail, nice soft. And uh, the plastic, what I found out, it's uh, very, very durable actually on these. So, big plus on these. Now I think the rest are just soft plastics. Pull them out. And there are uh, various brands, and I think most of them. Uh, nothing special about these. I think he just uh, hand pours them. Uh, this is a company. Let me see if I can read this. Lander, Fox Lander, whatever. It's just a perch pattern. Um, for pike and when I fish uh, channel lakes and these are also I think these were uh, roughly like 80 cent or 69 cents so pretty amazing detail on them I am uh, pretty sure I'm just gonna put a hook through it um, almost like a 3d trout because uh, I think they're a little bit heavy, they'll, they'll have a slow sink. These are great for fishing the river. And uh, these ones, there's no stamp on them which brand they were. I guess they were brandless, he makes them himself. So uh, looks like the eyes need to be re-glued. But like I said, they were like uh, less than one euro. I got like two of them for a uh, dollar and a half so this and this one I was actually pretty excited when I found this one uh, this is from Savage Gears it looks like a gizzard shad very soft plastic and I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a ton of action and the way I'm gonna rig this one is um, I am gonna put just like a 3D uh, 4D trout, I'm gonna put a line through it uh, with the straw facing upwards or downwards. One of them, either upwards or downwards. Well, actually, maybe both. I haven't decided yet. But uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas how should I rig this one or uh, one of these. These are also from uh, Savage Gear and these were a dollar seventy nine a piece which is pretty amazing and like I said it's a pretty good uh, plastic uh, from Savage Gear again and uh, let me know how, sh how I should I how should I rig these up uh, should I just go with the lineup or I, sh I should put a jig on these put them on a um, 6 out or 7 out uh, weighted uh, EWG style hook or whatever and let me know what you guys think about this so that's pretty much what I got and uh, yeah that's yeah pretty much that's all I got um, like I said I the most uh, excited bait that I got was uh, this one and this um, this one was extremely cheap a bait like this will cost probably a fortune over here um, it looks pretty good the clear coat is uh, nice and uh, this is from Savage Gear I've, I've been doing a lot of work just to locate uh, stuff from Savage Gear it's, uh, online stores are uh, 
pretty much don't have anything that I want that I see online but uh, that's it guys uh, let me know what you guys think about the baits 